What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Treble, it's on the line. Manchester Derby FA Cup Final for the first time ever. Wembley Stadium on June 3rd, 2023 with a 3pm traditional kick-off time. Anyone that is lucky enough to be heading down to Wembley do have a great trip. The game is live on BBC and ITV if you are wanting to watch this game in the UK. Alternatively, I'm going to be doing a live watch along for you guys to enjoy its extravaganza time for you guys. And I'll be going live early tomorrow for you guys. I'll have the link out to that for you to go and set your reminders for. But before I do crack on with this preview, make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel. We're on that push now to 30,000 subscribers, less than 700 subs away, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and search for me and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there also don't forget to leave a thumbs up 200 likes is the aim and do let me know your thoughts in the comments below including your score and team prediction for this game finally like all my previews this season it is sponsored and brought to you by betmate they're running a special 500 pound pot for the fa cup final five pound entry fee it's a free app to download. Link is in the description. Use code JSGC10 on sign up and you can have £10 in free bets. You can use them free bets to join this pot. And you can also join the Champions League pot as that's next weekend and the next available pot on Betmate for you to go and check out. We'll speak more about Betmate though later in the video. So... In looking at how the teams have got here, Manchester United are opponents for this game. They knocked out Everton at home. 3-1. They knocked out Reading at home. 3-1. They knocked out West Ham at home. 3-1. They knocked out Fulham at home. 3-1. Before getting to the semi-final, taking on Brighton and Hove Albion, it finished 0-0 at Wembley, sent all the way to penalties after extra time, with Manchester United coming out on top by seven goals to six on that penalty shootout and sets up a Manchester derby clash. Manchester City to get here, knocked out Chelsea at home 4-0, knocked out Arsenal at home 1-0, before knocking out Bristol City away 3-0, we then had a return match at the Etihad Stadium for the quarter-final, we knocked out Burnley by six goals to nil, before we took on Sheffield United at Wembley in the semi-final with Manchester City winning by three goals to nil. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Manchester City have scored a grand total of 17 goals in the FA Cup so far this season and conceded none. So things boding well for Manchester City so far, but if we are to beat Manchester United, who are led by Eric Ten Hag, then it is going to take a lot for Manchester City to get over the line. Manchester United, of course, will be taking confidence from the fact that they've already beaten Manchester City once this season back at Old Trafford back in January. They'll be extra motivated to try and end Manchester City's hopes of a treble, because let's not forget this uh, prestigious treble that gets spoken about of a Champions League, Premier League and an FA Cup. Manchester United are the only team ever to have done so in 1999 and they are very 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 proud of the fact that it's their team that's the only team that has managed to do that and they do not want Manchester City to replicate that I'll tell you right now they do not want that and so it very much is my in Manchester United's hand if they want to stop Manchester City then they need to turn up and put in a top quality performance now some early team news for Manchester United Lissandra Martinez he's out uh, Anthony Martial he is also out so I'm expecting Manchester United to line up very similar to David De Gea in goal uh, Dallas starting at right back with uh, potentially Luke Shaw maybe Malassia starting as their left back with uh, Varane and Lindelof as their two centre backs we might see Luke Shaw playing at centre back I'm not sure. Then a midfield three made up of Casemiro, Christian Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes. Anthony on one side, Rashford on the other and potentially Vuveko starting up top for Manchester United. To me, that team... It does look beatable. There's lots of individual battles. It's very important here that Manchester City 
Don't lose focus and start thinking about things like the Champions League final. Focus on getting the job done, not pulling out of any challenges, not too scared to run the risk of picking up an injury. And if we turn up and play like we can, then I think Manchester City can win this game. And I would be looking at, because uh, a lot of our players, this is our strongest eleven is going to go out for this game because all our players now are back in full first team training. The team kind of selects itself. So it puts you then in a position as to who's going to start, who's not going to start the big calls about whether we go with a Kanji Walker or Ake two of them free players will be starting in this game one uh, will miss out but to me with how we played because we've not seen this team play together since we beat Real Madrid at home if we can match that same intensity and keep pushing and pushing and pushing to try and find them goals and get this game killed off ASAP then we can start thinking about the Champions League and only then can we start thinking about the Champions League because if we lose focus in this game man Manchester United will hurt us. They'll be motivated. It's a Manchester derby. Treble on the line. They want this. Trust me. Manchester United want this. They want to spoil the party. So Manchester City need to turn up and play like we can. If we can, I'm confident no team in the world can live with Manchester City. So if we can turn up and find that level, then I'm confident we can go on to win this game and win it comfortably. Now, the biggest problem I think we face here is that Wembley pitch. Manchester City struggled to get any more than maybe 500 passes in the game. We're a team that's capable of doing seven eight nine hundred passes in a game so that Wembley pitch really stretches uh, it will stretch the defense it will stretch the attack there's lots of space lots of room for pacey players like Marcus Rashford one of the big danger men here and I'm wondering may Man City want to try and counteract that by having Kyle Walker man Mark Marcus Rashford out of this game it'll be a lot of running for Kyle Walker for a player let's not forget that's had no rest for Manchester City because he remained one of the only one of the only defenders that that we've had over the last three weeks that's managed to keep himself niggle and injury free so he's played a lot of minutes and uh, Manchester City I'm sure will want to take the opportunity at some point to maybe give Kyle Walker a little rest and so that may come in this game it may come in the Champions League final we'll have to wait and see but at the moment he'll be running on adrenaline he'll want to start this game he'll want to start against Inter Milan as well but as I said Akanji Ake as well all deserve their starts and two of the three have to start in this game and two of the three have to start as well in the Champions League final I think the only other uh, headache maybe for uh, Pep Guardiola will be who does he go in goal does he stick with our cup goalkeeper Stefan Ortega Moreno or does he go with Edison for me I'd stick with sentiment here and I'd stick with Stefan Ortega Moreno kept them clean sheets for Manchester City uh, he's played very well for Manchester City he's not put a foot wrong and I have no problem at all with Ortega Moreno starting in this game so I'm going to pop up my team prediction now and I'm going with Ortega Moreno to start in goal Akanji Diaz and Ake as our back three and a rest for Kyle Walker so he's nice and fresh for that Champions League final Stones and Rodri as our two holding midfielders Ilkay Gundogan and Kevin De Bruyne as our two further advanced midfielders Bernardo Silva on the right wing Jack Grealish on the left wing and Erling Haaland starting up top. That, to me, is Manchester City's strongest team, in my opinion. As I said, Walker's had no rest in the last three weeks, so he should be given a rest here. So we've got everybody fit and sharp, ready to go for the Champions League final next week. As I said, everyone is training, everyone is fit to go, which is fantastic news. And Manchester City... Very, it's very, very simple here. The fans want this so much. There's a lot of people speaking about would you rather win the Champions League or would you rather win the FA Cup? Ideally, we want to go on to win both and win that prestigious treble. There's a lot of Manchester City fans out there who will say they'd rather beat Manchester United because we've faced decades. Now, I'm not just saying years, I'm speaking decades of uh, literally sitting in the shadows of Manchester United. And over the last, what, 15 years or so, Manchester City have really started to make their own uh, and really started to set their own precedent. And it's our time for revenge. And nobody likes losing to Manchester United when you're a Manchester City fan. And vice versa as well. I'm sure United fans can sympathise with the feel if this was them in this position that City find themselves in. Then they couldn't think of any worse way to build into a Champions League final than losing a Manchester derby the game before, a week before, what's arguably Manchester City's biggest game ever. So if Man City want this preparation as best that it can be, we drew against Brighton a couple of games ago. We lost our last game against Brentford. A rotated reserve team was out for Manchester City and it was out so our players could have that rest. And now we need to turn up and, as I said, big push, 45 minutes, grab a couple of goals, 
and go from there. Uh, I do think first goal scorer here uh, will go on to win this game. I think the first goal here is very, very important. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I, I have a feeling Manchester City may try and be patient. Manchester United may try and be patient. They've already had a Carabao Cup final, and so they've got a bit of experience already in a cup final for this season. Manchester City uh, have been in plenty of cup finals, so uh, we know what it takes to get the job done. Now, in terms of my score prediction, I'm going for a 2-0 victory today uh, for Manchester City. I reckon it will be a patient game. A couple of second half goals for Manchester City, and I'm going for later in the second half as well. De Bruyne to find a goal, and then very late on Erling Haaland to double Manchester City's lead to give us the FA Cup. Now, I want this cup. I want Manchester City to win this cup. We've had a lot of success in the League Cup. We haven't won the League Cup, and it'd be nice to start building our own little dynasty in the FA Cup because there's been times where time after time after time we're getting knocked out at the semi-final stage we've got through to the final it's about time now that we started winning the FA Cup more uh, in my opinion so it'd be great to go and get that done and hopefully it'll be the start here of Manchester City going on to have a very successful period in the FA Cup it is after all the most prestigious domestic cup competition in the world now in terms of my um, betting tips for this game Casemiro yellow card anytime I think Ruben Diaz no love lost from his game at Old Trafford I can see him getting a yellow card anytime so both Casemiro and Diaz as a double yellow card anytime is my betting tip for this game now moving on to today's video sponsor Betmate £500 pot it's the penultimate pot of the season FA Cup final special code to join is FF-FA-FINAL now my team for this pot is Ortega as my goalkeeper, Dallot and uh, Stones as my two defenders, Bernardo and De Bruyne as my two midfielders with vice-captain Kevin De Bruyne and two attackers with Jack Grealish and Erling Haaland, who is my captain. On the bench, I've got De Gea, Lindelof, Casemiro and Marcus Rashford. So you can come and join me. The links and details, they are in the description. Remember, it is a free app to download. Remember, use code JSGZ10 on sign-up to get £10 in free bets and you can use them free bets to join this part and the Champions League pot uh, for next week as well for free. This pot worth £500, paying up to the top 30 places, 150 quid for the winner. What's not to like? Happy Betmating and thank you very much to Betmate for sponsoring this preview and all my previews this season. Please do remember, if you are going to gamble, do gamble responsibly. And when the fun stops... Stop. So this is the penultimate game of the season for Manchester City. It's the last domestic game of the season, not just for Manchester City, but for the whole of this season. Let's go and end it on a massive high. Let's become FA Cup champions. Let's beat Manchester United in a Manchester derby and get a bit of revenge for what happened at Old Trafford with that disgraceful refereeing performance. And I'm hoping this is going to be a game that isn't overshadowed by the referees, but we're seeing two very well-organised, very well-drilled teams going toe-for-toe -toe in what I'm hoping will be Manchester City coming out on top at Wembley and City, making it a prestigious domestic double as we head into the big Champions League final next week. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about the T word. We've got a job to do here against Manchester United. So, guys, I will have my link out for my live watch along. You go and check that out. The link to that will be out later on this evening for you to set your reminders for. We're going live very early as we have a big build-up. FA Cup final day, it's a special day. A Manchester Derby FA Cup final day makes it an even more special day. So, we'll be going live very early with all the build-up towards kickoff for that game. So, I will see you guys for that tomorrow. Also, don't forget as well to subscribe if you are new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I am aiming for... 30,000 subscribers, less than 700 subs away, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget as well uh, to go check out my social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. Leave a thumbs up. 200 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below, including your score and team prediction for this game, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. FA Cup final day Manchester derby come on Manchester City so I've been JSGC thank you everyone for watching I hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now